Hi, did you ever stop to wonder about the difference between divine timing and procrastination? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Paula Renova, founder of Renova Enterprises and creator of the Cardinal Method of Life Connection. And today we're going to talk about the difference between divine timing and procrastination. So the basic thing that I really want to share with you is that so many of us use the term divine timing as an excuse for procrastination. So my idea of divine timing is when you do everything in your power for something to happen and for something to work, and then you relax and trust and wait for life to unfold into what you believe is what you want and you know the outcomes that you wish to pursue. It's different from having the opportunities and convincing yourself it's not time right now. You know, it's this fear disguised as procrastination because procrastination is fear. Okay, it's just a sophisticated, intellectualized version of fear of change, fear of novelty, fear of something different. We are so wired as human beings to remain in the safety zone, right? To be with what we know instead of diving into the unknown. So one of the most sophisticated excuses that I see people using for procrastination, meaning to justify their fear of change and their fear of the unknown and their fear of something different and something original is divine timing. So divine timing happens after you have pursued something, after you have grabbed the opportunities in the present moment. Because seriously, divine timing is the present moment. After you've done everything in your power, if it doesn't happen immediately, which is the tendency for things to happen, things happen quickly and there's a lot of speed when we are in what I call life connection. But when it takes a while for things to manifest, after you have done your inner work, after you've done your outer work, right, your actions, your inspirations in practicing what you really believe is good for you, taking action, all of that, after you've done everything in your power, you wait for results, that's divine timing. But I don't think it is divine timing, when we use this expression to procrastinate something. We know it's in our power to do something, and we know it's in our power to grab the opportunity, and we just don't do it. And then we use the excuse of divine timing to procrastinate. So what are the practical things that you can do to release that habit? First of all, Be aware of what you are procrastinating. Be aware of what you don't want to do and you keep convincing yourself, oh, it's not time yet. I don't think it's what I should do right now. Maybe you're just trying to convince yourself of something that you don't really want to do and you just don't want to admit that you don't want to do it. So that's another thing. Using divine timing as an excuse for your fear, which is procrastination, for admitting that you don't want to do something and period and you don't have to justify it just be truthful because you get out of avoiding mode you get out of avoidance you just decide and you either do it or you don't do it but the doubt the confusion the procrastination the half bridges undermine your vitality and really don't allow you to live the best of life okay so procrastination fear, stagnation, not admitting the truth, not making decisions, half bridges, none of that is life connection. And divine timing is all about life connection. It's all about the present moment. It's all about owning your truth and acting on it with inspired, amazing, joyful action, decision, movement, and really taking a stand 
to be the most awesome person that you were born to be, to owning your highest potentials, and benefiting the world with your beautiful higher self light. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you for being here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.